So in this video, it's going right from the beginning about how to do multi-pages in Bootstrap, really. But what I want to do is do it first in normal. So, for example, so you know what the bare bones of how to do websites are. If you go into the a folder on your desktop, whichever operating system you're using, same principles really here. This is Windows machine. So just go in this and what you want to do is create three documents and these are going to be new and this is just a text document. So this first one and we're going to call this, um, I'll put, try and make this as easy as, as possible really. So on this one we're going to put the very bare bones of how to create these documents so I get asked about these how to actually start from the beginners because sometimes in bootstrap studio or people you know they don't understand you know the the concepts of the very beginning but this absolutely is the bare bones HTML and to the closing tag for that is the slash for uh, yeah for slash HTML and close that off. Then uh, there's like titles and heads and things like this, but this is just to get going. So we put a body tag in body and again a closing tag on that one. So forward slash again. All right. So all your HTML go between here, okay. So what I want to do is we want to do like create the three pages and first off we start with A which is anchor tag HRE F and then equals and then we're going to do uh, index.html index text.html as I said this is the very very basics and then we just close that off forward slash again with an A tag and in between that we just say home all right uh, yeah so again so we're not using Emmet or anything like that not that's what I would normally do but it's for speed really um, and again uh, about dot HTML should have put it in a speech marks and again uh, about and once again forward slash a to close that off there next one a href equals and we use this as a contact quotation marks or speech marks whichever one you want to use or term you want to use and contact forward slash a right so that's that sorted out so what you do on here you go to file and then save as as I say whatever you are using whether it's a Mac um, or Linux uh, I think if you're using Linux you probably know a little bit about coding anyway but anyway so we just go into desktop and new folder and we're going to call this index HTML index .html. and we're going to do this as where it says save as type where it says dot uh, text we're just going to put all files save that then you go to there see that's now saved it comes up on here as uh, Opera GX and this we do this again and um, just a second there and all you need to do there is copy this and paste it so as long as you know what you're doing as so I've just shown what that is and it so this now is going to be about save as and then you just change it again about 
dot html and where it says the text all files oops missed that so right and once again just put file save as and this is going to be your contact should I put uh, no that's right I thought for a minute I put that in a couple of letters um, okay right contact htm h it's got htm you can actually use htm uh, html um, just as a side thing there you can use htm it's the same thing but you've got you, you've got to say it's htm not html if you know what I mean and right so we're going to go here and we're going to do index and we're just going to load this up so now you have these and this is the first thing about animation when people say you can't do animation with HTML this is the very basics of animation when you do when you mouse over there there's an animation so you go to about and there's about there so there you say about and then you go to contact and if you see there again that's contact.html and then back to home and there's index.html so that's the very very basics of every web page really is is that uh, any multi pages is is that's how you do it it's the you have heads and you have your title and things like that but we just talked about bare bones, so that is the very basics of understanding the whole HTML thing. This is how it's done. Now on Bootstrap Studio. So how do you do it? Multi-page on here, new design. <clears throat> and I've got to say, this is one area really where Bootstrap Studio, for me, doesn't really cut it. But anyway, we'll just call this multi-page. Um, going back like a long way was the where at first it's in incarnation it was only one page website so that's all you could do so for a, quite a while that's all bootstrap studio was good for was landing pages and just the one page situation um the how improved on that but it's still i think it's still a bit clunky on this particular thing but once you master it you know you'll be fine so just uh create uh, this again <clears throat> so we go into this so what I would do on this people are going to say oh, I, would, I would do this way I would do it that way that's fair enough as long as you get there in the end that's the results the most important thing but the way I would do this is just to go to page so with pages I would actually create a new one and the new page would be called about.html same as really as I said in the notepad and another page which is going to be your contact so do these on the right hand side contact HTML now this is just basically to get you going um, of course there's lots of things and, and the web design and web development is a whole it's massive you know there's so much to learn and things like that but you've got to start at the basics and you've got to you got to nail those basics and uh, it seems like with frameworks and that, things like JavaScript frame, frameworks, it's like as soon as I finish this video, there'll be 20 more, and really it's unnecessary. You, to be a web designer, you just need HTML and CSS and be well versed in those. Then, like, sort of front end is, is JavaScript where you can build apps and stuff like that. But they have so many things that are pointless to me, anyway, they are. There's nothing, you know, just keep it simple become a programmer and things like that but just keep it simple simplicity is genius as they say right so we're going to do the index page first and so we're going to just come put this uh, nav bar in there's loads of these nav bars I've just just uh, searched this and for the studio there's loads of these uh, online ones now if you want to go on there too um, your choice of course and right so on here what I would do is just double tap on the touch uh, pad <clears throat> um, and then I'll just edit this here so to make this home page no, home page 
um, and do the same thing with this which is uh, above basically the same thing as we did with the um, just a note part and again on here just edit that and we're just doing this as contact this comes up time and time again this question so it's best to get this uh, you know like show how it's done as I say it's a bit clunky but never mind so on the home page that just clicked it convert to HTML and then edit code so you see this thing here uh, tell you what forget that um, undo right okay so you just do it on the nav bar itself nav bar and then you can do it all convert to HTML and custom code and edit code so you're actually seeing the three links that you need so where you see in here where the a class equals nav link href href equals is where you need to put in your link so in this particular instance, index is which is a home page, always a home page, or index.php, but we're not doing it here, that here. And that's got home page on, as I've changed it. And on the about, it's about .html. So that's corresponding to what's on the right hand side there under pages about contact and index. So on this other one, it's where the href is, contact.html, and just apply. Uh, no, don't apply that yet. So we know where we are, and we know whether we're changing pages. Style equals, and you can just take this out when you know, you know that you've got all your pages that you need. So background, color, uh, we just do something like red on this one, red, and apply. So there we have that. So that's uh, that's fine on that one. So now we go to about, and this has absolutely nothing. So we'll put this nav in again. And we do exactly the same thing as we did for this particular one. So. Um, Again, home page on here. Home page. And again, about. And once again, on here, a contact. All right. So as I said before, just click the bar, right click, um, double touch on the touchpad, convert to HTML, edit code. So right, exactly really the same as we did before. So and index dot HTML. And if you can't quite see that, I'll just show you exactly what I'm doing there about dot html and contact dot html and apply oh no hang on i'll just tell you what i'll do i'll do another style so we know that we're changing pages there so once again background color and we'll have orange this time because i do like orange so we just come out of there um, and then we just like sort of do the index and we do a preview on that. And this is where it comes up. So there now, and this should go to about, which should change to orange because you're changing the page. There you are. So we'll go back to home page and that should turn to orange, um, turn to red, sorry, on the nav. And there you are. I haven't put the contact one in, but that's a, a little project for you to do. Um, you know, obviously this is just for beginners and that, but I do get questions asked. 
as I say, first draft studio is a little difficult for. <laughs> It shouldn't really be. It should be a piece of cake to do, um, but it's it hasn't been multi-page forever. It's just it's one of these things that they've implemented, and uh, it's obviously better. But once you learn this little thing, um, you'll be fine to put contacts in and all that, and then you can build up your pages. As always, just get back to me if you get stuck or anything like that. I mean, this is what I'm here for is just to help people out. Um, you know. So again, thanks for watching these videos.